Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of HOT. Today I have another Power Rangers unboxing slash review for you. We have the Tiger Electronics Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video game. So this is actually really, really cool. Uh, for those that, that maybe didn't grow up in the 90s like uh, myself, these were like these little mini video games that Tiger Electronics would uh, create. So basically it's just a standalone thing. It's not like for some other video game system. There's no cartridges or anything. It's just you buy this and you turn it on and play a game. And, and, and as you can see, this was Mighty Morphin Power Ranger themed. And uh, here, here's the really cool thing about it, right? So this is a very, you know, basic but, but kind of fun game here. Um, here. Here's something really, really cool. I actually had this as a kid. It's not in good condition. Uh, as you can see, it's gone through the test of time. Um, it has not lasted very well, but uh, copyright 1988 Tiger Electronics, by the way. Um, although that, that's not really when this came out because that would have been before Power Rangers. Um, but this was definitely from the 90s. Like this was actually, this is my actual one. Uh, it does work, by the way. Uh, if I put in batteries, even though I don't have the case here, it actually does work. I will show you that in a little while. Um, some of this I could probably peel off, but whatever. Um, I think like this panel basically came off, and for whatever reason, I use. I don't. I don't know. I. I, I don't know why I use this tape or not. Or this was the '90s. I was like a little kid. Okay, so oh, there we go. Here we have. The new version. So this is supposed to be a complete rec replica of the game. It's the same thing. So I was very excited about this because as you can see, mine is not in great condition. So to have a, a new version of this is actually really, really exciting. So I like the packaging here. It does say Tiger Electronics from the vault because this is something, you know, from the 90s. And I like how the packaging is, is has got like the same style artwork as the actual game, which is really, really cool. Um, it does need two AA batteries, not included, so keep that in mind. Um, and then here's the back right here. <laughs> Rita Repulsa wreaks havoc. So there you go. Um, so basically, there, there's different, you can fight some, some putties, Goldar, Pudgy Pig is in the game, Gnarly Gnome, and you can even morph into the Megazord. Um, and, uh, and, and fight as well. So I don't really remember too much about how to play the game, but I guess we're going to find out. Um, it's been so long. Oh, actually, oh, I didn't even see that. 1994 apparently is when it's from. Uh, so wow, that's actually really, really cool. I was four years old in 1994. So here we go. Let's get this thing open and, uh, take a look. All right, here is the game out of the packaging right here. I played it a little bit to refresh my memory on how uh, on how this game works exactly. But before we get into the actual game, I do want to do a quick comparison since I do have the original to actually do that comparison. By the way, I did also notice looking at the original, it does say 1994 right there. So the packaging uh, was accurate. This is from 1994. So obviously some of this is going to be a little hard to tell because of all the tape and stuff uh, and uh, things are a little faded. Like, you know, the colors here uh, versus here. Uh, I think it's just because this is all faded, right? Like when I first got it, it probably was like that. Um, but just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, also, what I will say is this is a little different, like the, you have the screen here, a cover, and then this is like a, an overlay on top of it, kind of. Whereas here, at least it feels to me like all one solid, you know, piece on top of it. Um, so I don't know if that's actually true or not. That's just kind of the, the feeling that I get. Obviously the screen's all scratched up, so it's hard to, to truly see that. Um, what else is different? I mean, little minor things. Copyright stuff is right there where it's not there, but you have the same buttons. Um, even, even, you know, for the controls, they're the exact same kick, punch, call, and morph. Uh, the font is slightly smaller size on the new one. Um, as far as the artwork goes, it is actually slightly updated. So it's done in the same style. But like look at the Red Ranger for example here look at his helmet and now look at the new one right like the, it's 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 like fixed basically and also look they actually have the their uh, power coins on the chest there uh, which is not accurate uh, and so on the new version they've fixed that. 
Um, so that's kind of interesting. You know, would I have preferred, you know, if, if I, I, I think I kind of would have preferred an exact one-to-one -one replica. If they're going to do a replica like this, I, you know, I kind of would have liked those little details, even though it's not correct. I guess because Hasbro, they probably want to, you know, make sure that the Rangers are represented correctly or something. So, you know, that's a little bit of a bummer that they did update the artwork a little bit. Although I do appreciate that they tried to match the same poses and style as, as closely as they could with the corrections made. Um, so, so I do appreciate uh, that about it. Uh, as far as like Goldar and the putties, the putties are a little hard to see because all my tape. Goldar also is a little bit updated. Uh, he's a bit more menacing in the old version. Look at him versus the new one. He kind of has a more goofy looking face a little bit. Um, so that is a bit of a, a bummer. Um, but yeah, definitely some, some color or, or well, a little bit of color changes because there's a red little dot there, whereas that's blue. Um, so slight little modifications, um, which is kind of interesting. On the back then, um, again, I have so much tape it's hard to see, but it looks like they replicated the speaker pattern here, um, slightly bigger holes for the speakers. And then this, uh, obviously it's broken here, but there's no screw hole to hold this in place. So it looks like it just probably clicked into place versus this is actually screwed into place. Um, so there's that. Little, little minor things like that. So overall, very similar, um, but not 100% exact. You know, they, they tried to recreate this as much as possible with the artwork and all that too, um, but it's not, uh, it's not exact. So I personally think that if they're gonna go for the full one-to-one -one replica, they should have had the old artwork and stuff exactly as it was. If not, then if you're gonna try and recreate it and improve things, fix things, the, here's my one complaint with this toy. The old one does not have any backlight at all. So if you're in like direct sunlight or something, or, or actually even maybe probably in darkness, you can't even see the screen. Uh, the new one, same thing. They didn't add a backlight at all. Um, so if you're gonna do the improvement, like that's a quality of life improvement that I, I wish they would have done. Um, so that is one downside to the new version. That being said, you know, if you just want the feeling of the old one, you know, there you go right there. So real quick, I know you're not gonna be able to see anything because the screen's all scratched up and stuff, but just to prove that it works, I'm gonna turn this on. You heard the beep there, right? All right, it's on right there. You probably can't really even see. Oh, there, yeah, you see the, the Ranger right there? Kind of. Um, you see things moving on the screen? You can see, you can see stuff going there. So it does work. And that's the sound level. Now here's the thing though. Um, I'm gonna turn that off, I'll turn it on again. All right, that's the volume. Now here's this one. So the new one's louder, but here's the problem. I don't know if that's just because this is old or if they've actually improved, like, you know, um, given better quality speakers in the new one. I, I'm assuming, you know, it's better quality, but, you know, just a, one little comparison. But, all right, enough of the old one. Let's focus on the actual toy here. Um, so, I'm going to turn this on, and we're going to play a little bit. Basically, you have your controls to move left, right. You can jump up and down, and then go back down. You can kick and punch. You can call um, a backup ranger to help you, um, or you can morph, and morph means you basically summon your zord, or if you're in a boss battle, you summon the megazord. Now, let me just show you real quick the instructions that it comes with. Have It has the whole Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, story right there. Uh, you have the object of the game uh, as well, and then this basically walks through the stages of the game, so you can pause the video and read in more detail if you would like. I'm just gonna kinda quickly scroll through. So it really teaches you, you know, the different ways of, of playing and using up energy and all that, how to win, um, all that kind of stuff. And then the back here shows you a little summary of in each stage, how many uh, bad guys do you have to face. So in stage one, when you press call, it'll call Trini for help. In stage two, it calls Zack and so on. Um, so th there's that. And uh, you get the scores right there for how many points. Here are your controls as well. Um, so there you go right there, and more stuff right there, that's pretty much it. So, um, I am not very good at this game, it, it is kind of a difficult game, or at least I haven't figured out a good rhythm to it, so just FYI, uh, full disclosure. Uh, let me see if I can actually show this to you 
um, and you'll be able to like, can you actually see the screen? So that that's the problem, right? There's no, I know I'm getting beat up right now. I'm just trying to set this up properly. It's so hard to do when there's no backlight to the screen. I can't really demo it. Let me um, at least turn off my studio lights. Does that help at all? No, it does not. That makes it completely worse. Okay, good to know. Um, so I can try like this. It's not gonna be great, but it's the best I can do. So let's turn this back on and try and fight. So, all right, so then I'm trying to move. There's my ranger. You have Goldar and a putty. Goldar is, is tough. He keeps hitting me and he hit me again. All right, I got the putty. I can't seem to get Goldar properly. He's, he's, he's tough. I keep getting hit. Okay. Oh. I'm about to die, aren't I? All right, let me uh, call. I'm, I'm pressing call. So I've called in uh, a ranger for help. I, I'm assuming that's Trini then. So you can kind of jump up and down. It's, it's very, I don't know, maybe I'm just not doing this right, but it seems like I'm not very good at it. <laughs> at least Goldar seems to be like destroying me basically. Yep, and he just killed me. He, he keeps like hitting me there with his sword and that's kind of a difficult thing to, to counter. So let's start another game here. And he hit me again. Boom, I got him. Can I go back and... Boom, got him. Got him. Boom. All right, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the morph button now to turn it into the T-Rex. So there we go. I have my T-Rex sword right there. So now I'm shooting attacks. Hitting them. You just kind of stand in the corner there and shoot your attacks. So in the corner there's a morph button which I think tells you how much more you can morph. So I'm pressing morph again and I'm back to being the Red Ranger. I don't want to use up all my stuff, you know? And I think that's my energy right there. Alright, did I beat all the putties yet? I don't think so. Let's call help. I called help there. Oh, I'm about to die, aren't I? Did we beat the stage yet? Come on. This Goldar won't die, man. <laughs> we keep going back and forth trying to... He keeps jumping down and I keep dodging. I hit him again. Come on. Oh, now he hit me again. Got him again. I'm actually doing pretty decently, I feel like. Oh, snap! Oh, God! Okay, Pudgy Pig is here now. Wait, I'm gonna morph. Oh, snap, I morphed. Oh, no, he killed me! Oh, well, there's Pudgy Pig, and I, I, I went into that pretty weak. So I guess when you morph against him, it called all the Zords, and that was it. So... There you go. I mean, I feel like you get the idea behind it. It's kind of an interesting game. It's not like super fun, but you know, it, it's it's a neat little nostalgic, you know, old school type uh, type game there. So that's that. That's the Tiger Electronics Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game. So uh, check that out. Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, did you have this game as a kid or anything, or do you plan on on getting this? Uh, I think it's a neat little concept. I wish they would have added a backlight to this thing to make it a little more uh, user-friendly, I guess. Um, and I appreciate that they try to recreate as much as possible, although, you know, I kind of like the, the old school touch of, of having things incorrect with like the power coins on there, all that. It's just, you know, that that's like how it was back in the day. Like they didn't, you know, pay as close attention to all that kind of stuff, I feel like, you know. So anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you think as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I will see you later.